Hello everyone, my name is Andre and today we're back with some more Dragon Ball Z Abridged. This time it's episode 34. So, it's been a while since I last saw the main line series of DBZ Annie. So, I don't really recall much of what happened last episode. Uh, I do assume that we are going to continue where we left off with, with Goku and Trunks' meeting. And hopefully... A bit more of the Vegeta shirt hijinks, though I cannot in guarantee it, and I'm not sure if it's going to happen. I would be really happy if it did. Now, um, before we begin, um, I do apologize for not having posted much lately. Uh, you know, this whole out outbreak has been putting everyone on high alert, and we have been a bit jumpy on it, so, you know, my mind has been elsewhere. But I do apologize for that, that shouldn't, you know, something like this should not have affected my work and, and the videos for you, so I do apologize for that. Um, besides that, I don't think there's anything else. Next episode, don't forget, it's, it's going to be a movie, The World's Strongest, uh, which I don't remember um, that particular movie, but we'll see. And I think we should continue, shall we? Watch. The following is a non-profit fan-based parody. Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, and Dragon Ball GT are all owned by Funimation, Toei Animation, Fuji TV, and Akira Toriyama. Please support the official release. <laughs> exactly. Exactly after we go return. Okay. Wow! I can't believe you guys are all still alive. I mean, I swore <laughs> Frieza point. was gonna Yamcha at least one or two of you. <laughs> Speaking of which, hi Yamcha. Hey. So, which one of you guys ex nade the old freezer frame? Well, Kakarot, while you were off bumming <laughs> around in space, I took charge the of the situation. Nice. Gathering up your planet's measly excuse for fighters and spearheaded an assault on- Right over here. I was getting to that! <laughs> oh, if it ain't you, you old so-and-so. It's been so long since I, uh... I... I mean... you? We've never met yeah. before. Oh, thank God! You know, Goku here reminds me of me, you know. But in my situation it would be, we just met five minutes ago, and I'll be like, Yeah, right, and you are... I have terrible memory. Short-term and long-term memory are things that I do not possess. Or Kami, you're... King Kai. <laughs> I don't know, the whole thing is screwy. Actually, if it's okay with you, I'd like to talk to you in private. Oh, okay. One minute, guys. But, Dad, it's been <laughs> almost two years! I know, but I gotta go talk to this purple stranger. But I guess... Exactly. <laughs> go on, you should okay, be to this by now. Don't be nervous. He's just a normal guy. Just introduce yourself. So, you're Sun Wukong, right? <laughs> Damn it! I'm Son Goku, yes. <laughs> He's well, an idiot, Trunks. I'm Trunks. Nice to meet you. Don't you. Have to worry. Trunks, huh? So you're the one who whomped Freezer. Yes. I was actually wondering, how did he survive Namek? Well, I kind of maybe sort of kept letting him go. <laughs> yeah, probably a bad call. If I hadn't probably. shown up, all your friends would be dead. Oh boy, the dragon <laughs> wouldn't be happy about that one. Also so, my question here is, um, in Trunks' future, when this happened, Trunks wasn't there. So, how was Frieza defeated? Because we can assume that up to this point in time, right? You know, following Trunks' timeline, that everything happened as is, and then the only thing different between both worlds is that, you know, in Trunks' world, there was no interference from a time traveler, but in this world, Trunks came back in time to attempt to save his future, which multiverse makes it so he can't because time travel is a bitch so i'm curious when you fought frieza you were a super saiyan correct a super duper super <laughs> saiyan well can you show me i barely know you but i guess <laughs> still kind of tickles <laughs> yep that's a super saiyan all right so now that you've shown me yours i'll show you mine oh my <laughs> Happened to your hair? It's yellow. <laughs> so is yours. It is. <laughs> you never fucking noticed. I can see that happening actually. Uh, 
like this much. You know, I like this Goku way more than DDZ Goku. And I gotta be honest. Blonde spiky hair. Incredible aura. Well, Vegeta, now that Goku's here to compare, we can finally say for sure that that kid's a super. Utter one more word, <laughs> and no dragon alive will be able to fix what I do to you. <laughs> so, Tien, uh, have you been lifting? Because you are jacked. Yeah, who knows? Maybe I'll be the next Super Saiyan. <laughs> <laughs> so, Super Saiyan Whoa, 2, huh? Love this. That's cool. Took Krillin dying for me to become one. Wait, did something happen to Krillin while I was gone? <laughs> No, but seriously, how's Krillin? <laughs> Krillin's fine. It's just like my mom said. You're absolutely amazing. Alone, Goku. but fine. Now I know that I can reveal to you my secret. A secret? I love secrets. I'm awful at keeping them, though. <laughs> like the worst. Um. Oh, but don't worry. I'll totally keep this one, though. I promise totally. on Krillin's life. Um, <laughs> okay, you're right. I promise on Bulma's life. You promise on my mother's life? Bulma's your mom? Damn it! <laughs> I will say this, Krillin hasn't died that, that many times. Like three, right? The uh, um, dragon, original Dragon Ball. Then you had the Frieza Saga. After that you had the Boo Saga. And if you count GT as, you know, anything, you have that one time in GT when he was old. But he, for the people in Dragon Ball, I feel like there's people that have died more times. That's gotta be, right? Like Yamcha, he probably died more times. No, Yamcha was probably more mortally wounded than killed. I don't know. I really don't know. But I, I feel like every character has died like an awful lot of times. Uh, and Krillin is not like the highest death, doesn't have the highest death count. I, I don't think so. Unless I'm forgetting, you know, other times he might have died in Dragon Ball. I can't believe it! I was only gone for a year and a half, and already a Super Saiyan. Kids grow up so fast these days. Right. Uh, no, wait, you don't he understand. Wouldn't know. Oh, God, the next thing you're gonna tell me is that Vegeta's your daddy? <laughs> oh my god, <gummy> Kai. Yeah. <laughs> is that Piccolo? Your shirt! Man, good. Good hearing, yeah, right. I, I tend to forget. I was a bit confused by why he's laughing. <laughs> That's so funny. You're sh <laughs> For them. I'm gonna go over there yeah. right now and congratulate them. I'm from the future. <laughs> For realsies? <laughs> For realsies. Well... Listen, three years from now, on the 12th... I really, I really wish they had done the piano. Whoa. No. I can do it better. Whoa. You see the, the, you have to really show that you are like surprised, but not surprised enough to make you have an expression on your face. So it's just open eyes, head to the side a bit and, well. 12th of May at approximately 10 a.m. on an island nine miles off of South City, two creatures will appear. A pair of man-made monstrosities, half human, half machine, crafted by a man. I remember when I saw this. Now defunct Red Ribbon Army. Androids? Actually, the technical <laughs> term is cyborgs. Androids. Exactly. Look, my point is, they're dangerous. Each of them on their own dwarf even Frieza with their power. And? And they kill everyone. As in Vegeta, Kieran, Piccolo, Tenshinhan, Chaozi. You could say, as in my dad. The ones that survive are myself, my mother, and Gohan. Oh, wow. Wait, you didn't mention Yamcha. Oh, um, I mean, he dies, but... See, after he found out that my mother was pregnant with Vegeta's child, he sort of... <gasps> Dark. Wait, what about me? I don't know how to tell you this, but you don't make it to the battle either. You die of heart failure the year before. What? Why? Yeah. How? High cholesterol. From what? According to the coroner, too much bacon. 
you take that back. <laughs> but listen, in the future, my mother has developed medication There's that never enough cholesterol. Bacon. Is it grape flavored? I don't know. Yes. Because I don't like grape. <laughs> then it's bacon flavored. Yay! Well, now that we have all that settled, I better get back to the future. It's gonna be grape flavor, isn't it? I to meet my mom and dad. As I said before, I really needed to keep that a secret. One little slip up, and I suddenly may not exist. Wait, but if you don't exist, then you don't come back in time. But then you could never tell me, which means I'd never know you'd still be born. And why does everything smell like copper? <laughs> I tentatively leave this in your hands, Goku. It's Drink called well. the multiverse theory, Goku. Oh, okay. Goodbye, John. He came from an alternate timeline. What a nice young lady. <laughs> now, get my story straight. <laughs> Goku, what was that all about? You guys, androids. <laughs> yeah. And um, <laughs> on Mars. May. May. <laughs> Twenty. Twelve. May twelfth. <laughs> At 10 p.m. A.M. A.M. Nine miles? Nine miles. Nine <laughs> miles off of... North? South. South City. Two androids will appear on May 12th at 10 a.m. Nine miles off of South City. In you three did, years, Goku. I heard everything. All Please don't tell everybody. You, you got... <laughs> oh, oh, I won't. I will. Shut up, Nail. Okay. <laughs> According to the kid, we all die to these androids in the future. We have three years to train before they arrive. Well, maybe they'll kill all of you, but I'm not afraid of any over-touted washing machines. By the time they show up, I'll crush them without a thought, and then we'll see! Oh, hey, Vegeta. My shirt! I... you? Pink is a good color on you. Just take the compliment. Uh, I can see the resemblances. <laughs> Well, it's time for me to leave. I'll see you all again in three years your time, but hopefully you won't need me. Father, I hope to get to know you a little better next time. <laughs> Mother, I hope to get to know you a little less. <laughs> get the hell out of here! <laughs> Vegeta, nice as always. Good guy, Vegeta. <laughs> By the way, I can teleport. What? Yep. <laughs> Check it. But aren't those... Goku just done stole my glasses! <laughs> Master Roshi's on the whole other side of the world! Yep, yep. I just gotta imagine him and poof! There I go. I learned it out in space. Oh yeah, sort of forgot the obvious question there, but how did you survive? Mm, muffin button. Don't say muffin button, but it was! There's science and stuff! Of See, course. <laughs> while I was on Freezer's ship, Oh, he's actually going to show you how you survive with a muffin bunch. Yes! Yay! But when the planet exploded, the muffins actually formed a seal around me, <laughs> both protecting me and feeding me all the way to Yardrat. Oh, and that I can't is believe. the place where I crashed. The Yardies were awfully nice. You know. Why do they try to change their appearance is something that goes beyond me, quite honestly. They nursed me back to health and even made a ship for me to come home in. They also kept feeding me their sick, so now I can teleport. <laughs> so, if you could teleport, and you knew Frieza was coming, <laughs> why didn't you teleport to Frieza's ship and stop him? I kind of wanted to give you guys a chance. <laughs> Please don't make a habit of that. No promises. Looks like we'll have to put ourselves through the training of our lives if we hope to stand a chance against these androids. Wait! We don't have to do any of that! Hear me out! We just have to gather the Dragon Balls, have the dragon tell us where to find the guy who's making the androids, find him, then murder that son of a bitch in cold blood! As much as I love the phrasing of that, I'm gonna have to say no. And by no, I mean hell no. Are you kidding me? You heard Piccolo, none of you survive! And I, as a Super Saiyan, relish the challenge! <gasps> You're a Super Saiyan, Vegeta? Show me! I... well, <laughs> yeah, I just... I... Don't tell me. You're not in the mood. <laughs> what, does that third eye make you psychic? <laughs> no, but it does help me see bullshit. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> F*** you. Oh, you know, wow. to be fair, I'm with Vegeta on this great. one. I wanna fight me some androids. I haven't had a good fight since Freezer. Wait, so the first thing we do after you get back, after being gone for a year and a half, is train. Of I know, I'm excited too. Yeah, okay. 
<laughs> Guess that settles that. They finally given up Gohan. Over and over. See you on three years. Yeah. Good to have you back, Goku. We're gonna go get McDonald's. Is it though? Suppose we'll Is get it though? Too. Come on, boy. Wait, Yamcha? Yeah. You're my friend. <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> thank you, man. <laughs> Is he saying that so he doesn't kill himself? <laughs> Wanna go drive cars? Bitchin. Oh, I love this. This is one of my favorite episodes. Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> and thus, they went their separate ways to prepare for the upcoming threat. However, a few of them would find roadblocks. Why can't Oh, come on, Chi-Chi. Won't you come on, Chi-Chi, me? You're gone off in God knows where space, refuse to let the dragon take you home, and the first thing you ask for when you get back? Oh, hey, Chi-Chi, mind if I take our baby boy to go train to fight some monster robots? Androids. And the first thing I asked about was dinner. The answer is no! <laughs> He's such a dick. Dinner or no to Gohan? Both! Aw, oh, but Chi-Chi, don't be like that. Be a pal. <laughs> Yeah, she did. Oh my gosh! Oh, Dad, run! What? The worst she can do is ground me, now run! Meanwhile, Vegeta found uh. ways to innovate his training. 500 times Earth's gravity? That's insane! You'd be crapping out your own spine! I know, the challenge excites me. Look at my nipples. Look at them! Look at them. Why don't do your ship? What's well, the worst that could happen anyway? <laughs> <laughs> uh, lower. Wow, he really needs to learn how to dodge. Yeah, I know, still working on that. <laughs> By the way, how'd you convince your wife to let him train with you? We're on a field trip to the Ozarks. Please never tell her we were here. What are you talking about? We're just studying. <laughs> uh, let's go drive cars again. Yay! 400G. Are you fucking insane? <laughs> no, but you're upside down. Now you're not. You know, it would be easier to count the amount of your ribs that aren't broken. Work through the pain. And exactly how are you going to work when your body collapses? Please, the prince of all science does not collapse. <laughs> Oh, look at that! The prince of all two Saiyans on the ground! <laughs> Shut up! Oh no, the prince is getting all huffy! What are you gonna do, try to blow up Earth again? Because I have Goku on speed dial. You must be as stupid as he is if you think he knows how to work a phone! Don't you call me stupid! Okay, then how about bitch? Arrogant dick! Spoiled sow! F*** you! F*** you! F*** you! F*** you! My room, ten minutes. Oh, yeah, that's it. Keep going. Right there, right there. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Oh, wow. Yep. You gotta admit, even with the broken ribs, you really... Wait. What? Where's your condom? That's a condom. I love it. I love every second of it. I, I, yeah. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. <laughs> so, um... <laughs> so, um... <laughs> regarding that, um... Little scene. It's good to at least see an explanation as to how they got together. <laughs> oh, that was great. Um, um, this whole episode was fantastic, I gotta say. I love the relationship between um, Ten Shin Han and Vegeta. I love the fact that he kept getting shit on because of the shirt and then the fact that he wasn't Super Saiyan. Um... Yeah, everything keeps evolving in the in the right direction here, and I'm actually quite enjoying myself. Jokes were really great on this one. 
Gotta say, um, I'm really curious to see how they make through the androids now. Uh, I really am. I'm assuming that it's this episode or the next episode. And I love the fact that they included my favorite episode of DBZ, which is the, the, the car thing, because it's such a random and unnecessary episode, but it's so fun. It's just pure fun, and it reminds me so much of Dragon Ball. Because that's something Dragon Ball would have, you know, an episode like that. And yeah, I just adore it. Um, <laughs> I, I forget why Piccolo went with him, quite honestly. <laughs> but I remember he was... He had to go because Chi Chi made him go. Um, I need to I need to rewatch that episode quite honestly. Yeah, uh, this was great. This was amazing. Um, but I'm gonna leave it up here. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.